It's been really good. It's the first time I've done a project like this. I've not done a lot of facilitating before and I was quite nervous about it before I started. It's been good. I think it's really good that we've been put together because we're very different people. It's worked really well in terms of so many different skills, learning from each other. Session one was meant to be using disposable cameras and getting the young people because they, they won't be familiar with film at all. Week two, we chopped up those images and made collages. We um, did some light painting where you make the room dark and you use torches to, to sort of make pictures with light. While we were doing that, Jamie would use her 3D printers and make 3D prints out of the collages. We decided to experiment with cyanotype, which is a cameraless sort of way of making pictures with chemicals on a paper. We thought we'd play with that. I feel like I've learned loads. I've learned loads from Jamie. I've learned loads from the people who are in charge of the project itself. I've learned a lot from the young people and about the young people, about how to work with them in a way that is quite child-centered and be led by them. One compliment we've had from one of the teachers here is that We've, our energies kind of balance each other out, which is really nice to hear. I've been very out of my comfort zone a lot of the time, and I don't mean that as any criticism at all. Like, it's a good thing, because I really think that that's how you develop. Everybody's going to respond differently, and I think I never really considered that as part of the project itself. That expands on the initial idea that we had, and rather than, I think, before I would be like, ooh, that's a bit of a change. Just go with it, see what happens, especially if they're leading it and they're being inspired by it. And myself having ADHD, it's really good for me to kind of bounce with them and keep going and seeing what we can make through that.